By mir bist du schön, please let me explain. By mir bist du schön means that you're grand. Again, I'll explain. By mir bist du schön, it means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I've tried to explain by mir bist du schön. So kiss me and say you'll understand. By mir bist du schön. Please let me explain. By mir bist du schön means that you're grand. Again, I'll explain. By mir bist du schön. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I'll try to explain. By mir bist du schön. So kiss me and say you'll understand. By mir bist du schön. Please let me explain. By mir bist du schön means that you're grand. Again, I'll explain. By mir bist du schön. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I've tried to explain. By mir bist du schön. So kiss me and say you'll understand. By mir bist du schön. Please let me explain. By mir bist du schön means that you're grand. Again, I'll explain. By mir bist du schön. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. Try to explain by mir bist du schön. So kiss me and say you'll understand. By mir bist du schön. Please let me explain. By mir bist du schön means that you're grand. Again, I'll explain. By mir bist du schön. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only tells me how grand you are. I've tried to explain. By mir bist du schön. So kiss me and say you'll understand. This is for erectile dysfunction. Okay, so I guess I need to do a little bit of shaving. So I wanted to discuss today an approach that you are taking that nobody has told you the name of. And your project, when there's a problem, you always have a project to find resolute, to find solutions, etc. Segways you into your own social psychology, your own philosophy, your own politics, your own America. Because people say their social institutions are failing them, they're scared because their constitution is going to be taken away from them because of Donald J. Trump. People are really basing their life's happiness on externals, okay? And so we all know the spiritual practice of looking within, okay? We're not new to that. I'm not going to speak to you on, you know, Meditation 101, you know, sit like this, you know. We're not going to uh, take that approach today. But the approach that we're going to be talking about is your approach, Okay. And that is alchemy project, is that when you go into creating a project to resolve a problem, okay, you research, you do these things first, it, it only enhances 
your smartness. Okay? The body dies when the brain stops learning. So you always have to be in the mode of beautification, social reengineering, thinking about what you believe, and rethinking about how you were taught and how to unlearn what you were taught and how to learn the right way. Okay, so you have a learning deficiency if you are unhappy. Okay, if you are not a happy person, then you have thought maybe it pays off to be self-critical more. It doesn't. The approach to alchemy is first understanding the civilization of overcoming, survival, okay? You have to do what you got to do, okay, to get here, right? So when you overcome perfectionism that you were taught by Christianity, okay, you had to be perfect, you know, you're thrown out of heaven, legalism, fundamentalism, if you're a woman, you used to play victim because you are of the offspring from women that were paralyzed, couldn't vote, and needed the liberation. So everyone has their own backstory, all right? But we all have to get over ourselves. We're not that wonderful. Yes, we're awesome. Yes, we're fab, gorge, etc. Okay. When the fanfare is over and has ended, and you can't get lost in the fanfare, and the piper has to get paid because the party's over, what do you do? You criticize yourself. Was well, that good enough? She didn't treat me the right way. The way she looked at me at the party, whatever, the home gathering tea. you got to get over your perfectionism, your self-criticism, and your discouragement. Okay, this is your approach. Okay, people says you have to got to do better. Well, yeah, of course, no shit, unless the book title is The Disappearance of the Universe. So, you know, if I say yay or nay, it doesn't matter. It's all history, and one day nobody will remember me, and say la vie, la vie. So you want to be around people that are providing support for your legacy. Period. Period. That can be money or emotional. It's up to you. The Tyler Hamilton University calls her social behavior science behavior put it in just like I can barely even speak. <laughs> At the Tyler Lord Hamilton University College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Um, we'll be looking at that. Be looking at this because it's social justice education prevalence with under the suspicion, okay, churches may teach you this, but we're going to be under the suspicion that if we don't do better, we're not going to put ourselves in the right frame of mind to go ahead and investigate things like Jesus Christ, or who men are with their money, cock and culture, cock and culture research, money hot arms, greed, corruption, chasing the black dragon's red tail, now, uh, the, uh, the Madonna whole culture. People, it is a heartless, cold-hearted... Oh, if you're 18 years... No, if you're 21 years or younger, turn this off. If you're 21 years or older, yes, turn... You know... You have to be too... I don't like thinking about all these demographics and things like that, because I just put the video out there and I don't want any type of... Uh, YouTube community guidelines to be uh, violated. You know the drill. There's always red tape somewhere. And it's all about safety and what and people think that they are mature enough to understand content. So if you're 21 years or older, you can watch this. But if you are younger than 21, you turn this off now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm not responsible. 
This is a heartless, cold-hearted son of a bitch cunt culture with people out there, which are cunt bitches, what they're called. They're not called, they're not called bitches nor cunts. They're called cunt bitches. They're both of them. Okay, cold-hearted son of a bitches out there that don't give a flying fuck, and that's the truth. That's why people say they're suffering, they're hurting. It's not about... bettering society. This is why everybody, it's, it's about money. Okay. In social justice, education, prevalence, and democracy promotion without force, and men's social sciences research, things like this, and the money, and the homosexual life, men in power, men that uh, correlate with other men, and see through men, and they're doing this behind wise backs, not being honest about the bond, or the intimacy, okay? You know, we all know your frame of reference, you know where you're coming from. I'm not going to be speaking to people that don't know where they're coming from. I don't have time to hold hands. We're assuming people have already done the work on themselves, in depth psychology, knowing their shadow, okay? Carl Jung, Swiss psychiatrist and psychotherapist, stated that, uh, you know, nearly over 85% of your behavior is owned by your own subconscious. So, you know, you do things without not knowing. Okay, and that means bringing you here. So, it, Social Alchemy Project Access Management is about social transformative growth and change and being a change agent because disciples are not born. They're trained. Okay, that's what the Christians may teach about the disciple thing, discipleship. I believe disciples are born and not all need to be trained. The natural... Um, leaders. <clears throat> but everybody needs a socio-spiritual collateral damage spectrum and say what has been most damaging in your life regarding art, religion, society, and the sacred male sexuality, exploratory positivism times you have found with other men, okay? And not calling it sin, but being able to chill. Okay, see, in overcoming, uh, it's the approach of overcoming perfectionism, self-criticism, and discouragement through alchemy, okay, through me now holding your hand because you have done all your rule breaking, okay? I'm sorry, you know, I'm very liberal, but there is some black and white out there. There's sick people out there, but there are sick. There are sick, repeat this after me, you make comedy out of it. When somebody's talking, you say to them, well, why do you think that? And they go, well, I don't know. And they're like, it's because you're sick. Real sick. 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 You say it like the hair is like, oh, you know, back of your neck. You don't say you're a sick person. You know, you say you're sick. Like, they're disgusted. It's funnier that way. It's more shock walk. Flick up the foreskin if you have to, people. Be willing to take over... Be willing to take off what you have covering over your eye. Okay, be willing to see that in the... Imperfection, there is the perfection. You understand? In the friendless, there's the friend. In the loveless, there is the one to be loved. Everything is about money. We're supposed to be about society and social justice, education, prevalence, and democracy promotion without force as Social Alchemy Project. It's thoroughly about anti corruption, human greed, and doing what is fair in the democratic consensus of a society that is absolutely sick. Just sick. See, not our society, not only our religious systems, or political systems, or social institutions, or your government, so you think, I'm not giving you an answer, yes or no. That's kind of within confidentiality for people. 
and workshops and things like that, or with the clinical psychotherapists that they're working with. You know. But you got to flick up the foreskin, you got to take off the mask. You gotta see yourself for who you are. You gotta see shock rock. You know, you gotta see that you are shock rock. You being so weird and so fucked up is so shock rock. Do you understand? Shock rock, sorry, duh, jack off. You know, you're basically giving yourself license. This is the whole new thing. 2019, I've been hearing people talking on this topic. Giving yourself permission to walk away. Giving yourself permission to walk away and not demand an apology. If you're not going to get an apology, you can't get sick over it, people. Well, take care of yourself. Look. 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 Okay. I am, you know, my Chanel lipstick genderfuck. You know, I'm uh, creating a lipstick right now to be manufactured with Hamilton products and the Hamilton store, shop, whatever, market, whatever have you. But, look. Look. Just taking this little, little, excuse me, one moment please, sneeze or cough or I've got a bathroom or I have to put in my Chanel lipstick, should not get me fired. Do you understand? God understand this. Just wash the hair. But look, we gotta understand. And look, look how different I look. I look way, way, way uh, more enthusiastic about maybe the day. But I fluff up the hair a little bit, you know. I'll put it back in the rubber band. See, like that, you know. Okay, so. You like this one? Which, which is more gender fuck and transgender? Slight, it's called slight transgender, slight cross dress. Maybe like this. Then we go skiing. Okay, so back to what we're talking about. We're talking about the new approach. The new approach. And it's under the umbrella of social sciences organization, social alchemy project, access management. So you're getting help here. But if you're not getting help here, you're going to get help somewhere else. We're not after your money. I mean, unless you're looking for, like, product, you know. But the teaching is coming out freely. Now, we have, of course, our university. We have the private practice and things like this. We have the church, the New World Christ Church. We have different, different things that are aiming toward the promotion of the work that's coming out of the Tyler and Hamilton Foundation, you know, etc., so, you're getting help here. If you don't get what you want, you have to go somewhere else. And whether you go somewhere else, but what, what can you do for other people? I don't want to make you nauseous, but John F. Kennedy, a United States President, if you've heard this tons of times because you're a baby boomer or something like that, you know, or you're in your 60s or 70s, you know, you know this famous quotation, but if you're, you know, within like, you know, 22, 23 years of age, you might not know, or this might be the second time you hear this, but John F. Kennedy, he was former U.S. president, said, they don't think about what your country can do for you, but think about what you can do for your country. Your country is naturally going to reciprocate. Same thing with Hollywood. It's not about coming to Hollywood and pursuing a dream and your bliss and to take from Hollywood, but it's what you bring to Hollywood. Okay. that it creates the relationship and the energy of back and forth, and then money follows. Okay, Money makes its way in. You can get beyond all argumentative comments when it comes to being perfect and being shaped and disciplined and tamed by your own criticisms. Okay, and now you're spiritually egotistical. Because you know how wonderful you are. You are the good type of narcissism, which is a topic that's coming out. You know, Donald J. Trump, you know, his heart is in the right place. Uh, he's making mistakes. But he's the good type of narcissism or the bad type of narcissism. That's very uh, argued right now in certain circles in social psychology. Is that because of what he provides as a role model, as a leader... 
and he has gone cray cray, crazy. What, what, what measurement do we have in place to make sure this doesn't happen again? First of all, we're working with what we have, even if Republican Party <clears throat> members of that political party, Republican. You know, so it's a finished deal. The job has been done. Now we have to think about the funerals already been conducted. Okay, now we have a new president. We have things that have changed. Maybe there was an earthquake in California. But what you bring to the table is what comes back to you. Now, that thinking can be... Uh, streamlined from off of other teachings out there, but that thinking is primitive of Zoroastrian. It goes into India uh, with all Sanskrits, and it's supported by Christ and Hindu and then Buddhism, okay? And maybe you are Congregational Community, Calvary Chapel, Mormon, Seventh-day Adventist, Satanist, Occultist, you're welcome to the New World Christ Church. It's the church run by Social Alchemy Project, Access Management, what you're viewing right now and how you are interacting and what we come out with the social spirituality of the gay man that is here to lead other men. Okay, I'm not promoting the Tyler Hamilton jet right now. I'm not promoting the yacht. I'm not promoting the store, my products. But if you can get something from me that is helpful for a certain thing in your life that keeps rising up, okay, and it brings you peace and to end the inner play of that war of I'm not perfect enough, they're better than me, coveting, loneliness, insecurity, jealousy, feeling cheated, feeling confused, you know, never being a, a part of a family. You have an enclosure already. You're not going to lose anything of yourself when you reach out. When you reach out, you build up. And that can involve your fence. It can involve the cement steps into your palace. There is a lot more to do out there than what you have maybe been taught. But that is fine. Because you are getting what you want. By getting beyond the argumentative comments within yourself and seeing yourself as Sterling Silver, Victorian, just Sterling Silver, in a fabulous mug. These little mugs are so fab to find in the stores. In a way, I'm like asking you, you know, size me up, sniff around, you know, see if I have what you're looking for. Then you're more than welcome to join the Tyler Hamilton life drawing and painting workshop opportunity, and I'm going to pay you for the art you're going to commit. I'm going to commission you to paint for me. It's going to be a win-win situation. So, one of the things we're working on at Social Alchemy Project Access Management is to film the digestive rectal system of Social Alchemy Project Access Management, which is right here. Okay, this is where all of the performance art happens, it's where all of the cluster groups, it's where the start of our symposium and our workshops, our seminars, our discourses, our public talks, our elevated dialogues, uh, the practice, church meetings, rehearsing uh, in the entertainment industry, and proclaiming that we are allowed to walk away from our self-criticism and to create a new story. And by that, be your own messiah. Be your own self-alchemist. Be your own lord. Okay, That's why I'm asking for you to allow me to join you as Tyler Lord Hamilton, L-O-R-D, Tyler Lord Hamilton, in the free training I'm giving you to go through uh, two hours of uh, work, the videos, and then paying you to do filming for uh, a project that's going to uh, go into contacting celebrities, contacting writers, producers that are going to get your career forward because you're a student. 
So your own approach is not just being critical of the present because you're looking at the gift horse in his mouth. Do you understand? No matter where the support comes from, you should be grateful. You shouldn't be flicking people off because they're perfect. Let people f flick up their foreskin as you flick up your foreskin and you show who you are from a raw sense and say, you know what, hey, don't fuck with me like that. You know, that really teased me off. And be in a tradition of elevated dialogue and public discourse. People out there are two-faced with their cars and their luxury and their traveling and their money hard-ons and what money has gotten them because they're getting a raise, but other people aren't. People are here to live their bliss and to live their lives through you and to be the good, selfish narcissism that you can find. So people are running around saying, this is the good selfish, this is the good ego, because you have to survive. you got to believe in yourself, you have to have self-confidence, okay? Well, now they're tickling that into, this is the good narcissism because of Donald J. Trump. So what I want to ask you in the Culture of Narcissism, is a famous book, the author is Lash, L-A-S-C-H, uh, I think it is. So what I ask you is that today... When you turn on this video and it said the new approach, what did that mean for you as a handyman who has a toolbox with many tools at the juncture of me providing you a new tool you haven't seen being sold? Because you're looking at the lipstick, so you're kind of like delusioned, right? And you're thinking about what you think it should be, but it's a globalization of democracy. It's not about what you think goes in Louisville, Kentucky versus Hollywood. I'm just saying, or Indiana or a redneck place of America, Bakersfield, California, whatever. You would say it's the armpit. So that to me, pardon me, that to me is important to address. So we have some people in here filming the crap out of this place, just having a filthy, gorgeous, cum quat smelling virgin whore time with Tyler Hamilton. And you can see all the bad in the world that happens to him in Beverly Hills, Sweet Beverly, because the show's called Living It Up. Social Alchemy Project Access Management is developing a show called Living It Up that's going to document uh, Tyler Hamilton, myself, uh, with my uh, my boys in uh, West Hollywood, my go-go dancers and, and all this jazz, to make their own debut appearances. Because it's a kind, gorgeous, patient consciousness, vibrant, articulate, passionate type of element we want in your own alchemy, in your own approach. The dream comes true to you. Because you can be kind, smart, fantastic, glorious, gorgeous to hang out with. And not be a smelly cunt. In an entitled cunty culture. In an entitled cunty culture, are you an entitled cunt? Can you say no to your dream for the day and put it at the cross of Jesus and think about somebody else and not think about yourself? Don't think about others when it's most convenient. Think about fasting. Not fasting off of uh, food, but fasting off of your own thinking about how fab you are. Putting yourself aside, once you know you have a self-esteem there, but put it aside. I'm not asking you to commit suicide and be selfless, okay? So don't come back to me and let me know I mind-fucked you and I'm responsible for your suicide. Go fuck yourself. Don't talk to me that way. Can't do that. Can't manipulate. Can't be passive-aggressive. Can't be in the blaming game. Okay? Blame game. Okay. Got to reorder the quantity and quality up here. They say, oh, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. You want to make a bet, it is about quantity. When you're feeding the fishermen, when you are healing the nations, the Bible talks about this. You're not a dumbass. You all agree in the Great Commission. Go into all the world preaching this gospel. 
that Jesus Christ was born, died, resurrected, the living Savior, showed that he conquered death by his metaphysics. There's a metaphysical Jesus and the human Jesus, okay? I don't know which one you're talking about. I'm not talking about Jesus the millionaire, because Jesus is broke and homeless most of his life. I don't know you're talking about prosperity, abundant Jesus, ching, because Jesus makes a lot of money, the Jesus Casino at Day Christian Mafia on Sunday morning, racist Jesus, God hates fags. No, so the whole culture has outsmarted tradition that is based on sexism, control, power, dominative male culture with money hard-ons, with the American dream on the West, okay? The bubble has been popped. Dress up is over. In a gay, straight, men's social sciences research education community, there's going to be men helping men and having a clearing. You don't need special technology in your hands, like Scientologists would say. I haven't experienced it. I would have my membership there, but I didn't pursue that. My money went toward many other things. I know, hadn't gotten to that expense yet. But all you need is a broken life. And an ethical, welcoming, collective consciousness with your brothers, your sisters, your spouse, or LGBT men that Social Alchemy Project Access Management has headed up that will introduce you in all heaven and love. The filthy, gorgeous, virgin whore, right? People are confused, angry, and disappointed, and they'd rather spew their poison out at you. They say, choose your battles. They also say, choose your poison, but people are stretching out with the brown eye out there, okay, thinking shitting on people is the mentality, and then taking from them, and they're only left with what greed gave them out of the flamboyant, brave heart that at the end was dark and flamboyant and bona fide cuntiness that only got them to be the biggest bitches for the last four counties and uh, you know being the biggest bitch cunt for four counties since the 1900s I'm just joking I'm just saying that as a trendsetter for branding Tyler Hamilton but but as I'm going to help you stretch your mind into who you already knew you were you go to these gyms that, that you hear, you know, advertisements like, you know, we're gender neutral. And then also speak to one of our membership advisors on the topic of uh, investigating what program is best for you, what package is best for you at this whatever gym, because you uh, love the body already that you are going to become with our help, that kind of thing. But yet, come as you are, no perfect people allowed. That's all New World Christ Church. The problem out there is disparity. It's because people think poor. I'm not talking here. This is the issue, for sure. But I'm talking first and foremost, if this is not around, you can't go kill yourself. I mean, you can. But you gotta, you know, I mean, it's up to you. It's your power. But it would kill society, and it would displace your anger in the universe through a bullet. You know, the universe works that way. You know, it's not, it's not sick at all. Wait a minute, I'm so sorry. Make sure we're all verified. That'll be fine. Okay, so... You are maybe a cute guy, and you are a cute man in the pickle. But you have resentment that pops up every eight years. And you can't get beyond maybe jealousy. And you ask yourself, why am I doing methamphetamines? Why am I doing drugs? Well, then you contact us. We help you because it's a party drug. It's called P&P, &P, Party and Play, methamphetamines. Methamphetamines, crystal meth. Adolf Hitler gave them to his soldiers. Meth was given to uh, Judy Garland, to the studios. 
to this day in my open-minded research, being in uh, Los Angeles myself, Sweet Beverly, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, everything that we offer. Uh, Glendale, where all the Armenians are. Uh, I have this open-minded research and I just can't wrap my mind around people really lacking wisdom in not forgiving people, but giving people the license to just let things go and to work with what they have. People project as if they want your money, and they do. And your grammar will disappear, and so will you. We all die. So we don't even have time for healing, but we have time for sharing. We don't have time for healing, we have time for peeling. And what we find when we take off the peel and flick off the foreskin and take off the mask, right? All that jazz, all those shock rock things I say to get you to start thinking. We see someone very raw. And that immediately is shared through contact of love, through eyes, through mirror neurons, through the way you're developed. It's the sharing automatically, the loving and the inner wisdom that is embraced, not the money. The money comes next. So if nobody is going to help you, then you have to go ahead and help yourself. And be open-minded because this is the road less traveled for you as the book goes. Excuse me. Oh, I had to deal with my nose. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. So disgusting. I just want everybody to know I'm really white trash. <laughs> so where are your hummingbirds going to apply for the next job? And that job is blow jobs. And why do we say your hummingbirds? Your hummingbirds have a little beak and it's a fucking little nuisance. It's annoying and it's scary as you know what. So hummingbirds are going to apply for the job to suck your dick. Okay, so are you that desperate? Are you willing to not be a kumquat pussy whore anymore? With no little hammer? A hammer butt plug by Tyrod Hamilton? Does anything like that exist for you? Probably not. So, your new approach is to get beyond your own perfectionism and your own self-criticism and to just sit straight, put those shoulders back and pump up that chest and let those nips see the world. And understand your losses are gains because you were able to learn to live with less. If I have to create a Tyler Hamilton tickle party or sickle jerk with you, you better make sure you put me in the middle and you pay my lover a lot of money. I'm just joking. I'm not going to be playing like that. Those days are kind of over. <coughs> but for those that are making mistakes, adultery, Madonna whore culture ruins their families, but their kids are happy because maybe a parent is more honest, or a child is more honest, you know, more power to you, you know, more power to you. Nobody is trying to rain on your parade. And that's not going to happen, because I'm very self-protective of people that are part of the voice of the world, okay? Uh, voice of Obispo, Samus Obispo, I was creating a m movement there that didn't really work out. But we're going to be reuniting with some ideas because it's a gay straight male energy and it's about restoring the hearts of the fathers to the children. Okay, and understanding that money has stepped in the way, domestic violence has stepped in the way, pornography as well as the family records and the whores. Uh, gay men or straight men or lesbian women or straight women. God makes no mistakes. I'm tired of hearing that. God does make mistakes. Think about it. It's the mistakes that get us really feeling. What more should be created then? 
what design do we get to model in nature? Because a lot of our science comes together with spiritual growth and different avenues when you start showing how they're so much alike in their own architecture. Keeping your treasure is because you allowed yourself to live your bliss by not being so self-critical and not being so perfect all the time and getting past your disappointments and your lamenting and your self-loathing. And your own jealousy. Or maybe it's not jealousy. It could be covetedness, coveting, or it could be envy. Each are different, but you can't really have one without the other. If you have all three lining up strong, it leads to you wanting to murder somebody. It's in the Old Testament in the story. I can teach on that on a Sunday. But you know, what do you offer the world? When you pull things together and you are discipling a community organizer for artists, researchers, scholar practitioners, collaborative cooperation in a gay straight leadership, a uh, world of an ethical, welcoming, collective consciousness with the democracy promotion of homosexuality, teaching men to live with their mistakes, and how to conquer the heartache that money has brought them, to walk into seeing who they are, knowing what they need to change, and then becoming a change agent. There's no sin in that if in the process you fall in love with a man. You understand, Christians? You don't have to teach that. You don't have to teach, be married to God, but hate sexuality now. I just mentioned, most of the things mentioned in this subject right now for the last 40 minutes has paralleled Social justice for Republican Christians that believe in volunteering and doing charity work. So just shut up. If you hate Tyler Hamilton because he loves Hillary Clinton. I have been, like people, an awful bug chaser, filthy gorgeous, nasty and rich, intellectual male. That's become problematic. But... When you understand you were born with nobility, you're not born with original sin, and you have a heart that's susceptible to wicked, who could know it, and now I need to get your money, and I'll send you on your way after I pat you on your back and pray for you and say Jesus loves you. Okay, well, what type of love is that when you're a gay person and you're told that God hates queers? Well, you know, there's a website, I think, called... Uh, www.jesuslovesporn.com and that was that's owned by heterosexuals who go to church I'm not gonna say if that's fiction or non-fiction but you want to start thinking of yourself as a community organizer those are where your politics are at right now it's about grassroots so returning back to that idea and re-educating on that idea because it's kind of slipped away, I think. You want it big, then you gotta move out your kids, and you gotta stop thinking, and you gotta shut up, sit down and write your book, versus putting on that lipstick. But when you wanna make time and put on lipstick, you can spend as much time as you want, and you can just dial the uh, up and be pretty. This is the personification of resilience. You're always going to be okay. Even though things are psychobabble for you, they don't make sense, you need clarity, the brain always is making sense out of things, even if it's not conscious for you. So allow yourself love for yourself. That's okay to do. The whole dramatization, okay, the blue ribbon of it all, how it connects you to more grief, but yet more liberty, because blue is also sky. Every single day and night of your life, you will dedicate your talents to you, and you want this to make you money, 
and make you a lasting rich star. You are shattered men. Now you can begin your art and being not brainwashed, but brain changed. That is a whole dramatization and respectful adoration that I have for you to tell you that as your teacher. If you can't tell me why you were brought here to this computer, we just mentioned that, right? Remember, that's a topic. Those, I think, are fine, fine, fine ideas to mold you, to shape you into a very elegant man. Right? For sure. You don't know everybody's hand is in everybody's back pocket. But so is your hand. So you go to stop showing off and show some self-control. This is the resource for gaining self-respect. Then networking. Because you've been patient and you've been assertive and to yourself to tell yourself the truth about you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be true. What's the opposite of perfectionism in this lecture, listener? The opposite of perfection in this literature, media, media literature, is listening to your heart and seeing what is in there and being assertive to what you know is right for you. But if you don't feel it or see it, you see it here and you hear it here. And the more you work on that cognition, you raise self-efficacy, look that up, the whole teaching, and it brazes and it polishes the heart. That's how abundance works and not thinking poor and attracting your whatever you want, including your money. You're so narrow minded on money, but there's other things that have to be part of that loving relationships, right? It wouldn't matter if you died right now. Because you haven't set down your legacy. You naturally have, because people in your life love you, okay, and they'll remember you. But you have to have the mind always in balance with career, work, leisure, play, all that jazz, with how do I conscientiously lay down the infrastructure for this legacy? What must happen? I have to change something in me. I got to get more organized. I got to do that. Then I can write the book and then I can do, you know, you just have to find right now that you can acknowledge that it is okay to be lost. That's where your love is in your path. It's knowing that being Imperfect is perfect. You know, if you're a guy seeking a guy, you like ranch. Am I right? More men you're with, you like more rough trade. Am I right? I'm correct. So you have the streets going hand in hand with money, and you have cock and culture and money hard ons, and you want to ask me what money hard on means? Do your own mathematics. Figure where you are, right here, right now, what you want, what you looking for, really, that will make your money better. It is a money hard on to think opposite. The inner work, the inner reflections have to happen first before you throw yourself in cock and culture theory, cock and culture research, money hard ons. Got to love what has become the hurt inside of you, according to Johnny Cash. The significance of having a gay man tell you this is because I love men. How superficial, how narcissistic. How prideful if I tell you I'm an expert on men. 
I understand what money has done with me, and what sex and men and hotness has done as well to you. And it's just so obvious in, I have a theory that's being created. It's called the P4 theory. It comes up in some of my other lectures. But I haven't uh, laid down that infrastructure yet for this theory that I have things going on. But, you know, it's a ped pedophilic, pornographic, perpetrator, and uh, predatory society. It's the four P's that defines you as a millennial. So you're in search of an opportunity, but yet it's a pornographic society, and you have images. You need to be a change in your culture. You need to be supporting monogamy and commitment and devotion to people, lovers, not be jealous and be a hater. It's a bad, dark thing when your bad, dark outshines the good. Let's be honest. Does it sometimes seem like the dark outdoes the good? And then you talk to moralists, or purists, or Christians, and they tell you, or Catholics, they tell you, oh, the good always presides. Inevitably, it's world peace. The Baha'is will teach you that. It's true. But people, this is not an impromptu speech. I mean, I've written some notes to tell you that we must speak on the challenging questions as men. Unindicted. Or not unindicted non-indicted. This creates your university lectures. It creates your platform as a gay man to help men orbit around the idea of being a community organizer and learning that they can get past their distrusts and the massacre of social justice that people have had on them and against their democracy promotion because they weren't perfect enough, muscular enough, hot enough, rich enough. Gay men telling you about trust and the objective facts to promote better mental health advocacy is exactly why you have a gay man talking to you right now with hawkish eyes. I see what it is, and so do you. I'm not telling you anything you don't know in your spirit. We're just making you more aware, awake. The Swamiji would say, making you enlightened or reawakened. But it's about aware, awake. So, all this being stated, I think you going forward with your new approach and acknowledgements and see that you, you have already overcome the perfectionism and the self-criticism because you know you've got to get over yourself. We're all victims of identity theft. I'm talking thousands and thousands of people. Deal with the grievance, the loss, the bereavement, counseling you might want because you're lamenting the loss of the innocent dream that never happened that could happen. But maybe you need to work on addiction. Try your new approach. End perfectionism and ideally you don't have to be perfect. Just keep things together and you'll be all right. And don't be a cold-hearted person as cold as a witch's tit in a brass bra. Get over yourself. Please, we need a better society. Subscribe, let me know if any of these ideas mean anything to you. I'd love to hear your comments.